Despite their low retail price, the Casio digital models offer arguably the best value for money in the watch world. I've been a big fan for years and I've uh, showcased at least a few of them on this channel. So when Amazon stepped up and kindly offered to send me a couple of free watches to review on the channel, uh, there was one that sprung to mind straight away. I'd already seen a full blackout retro look Casio on their site a few months ago and had it sitting in my Amazon wishlist at the time. Therefore, I couldn't help but make this my very first choice. Currently, this retails for about £39, though pre-virus, it was more like 30 quid. Either way, that's more than some of the other Casios I've looked at. So, is it worth that extra cost? I mean, it's not an expensive watch, but it is a little bit more. Compared to something like the A158, functionally, you actually get some upgrades. Firstly, you get increased water resistance, if that's even possible. I know previous Casio digital models like the F91 have got a legendary reputation when it comes to marine performance. Though surprisingly, these, including the A158 and a couple of similar models too, they were only ever advertised as actually having about 30 meters of water resistance. As you can see from the text below the logo, this B640 advertises five bar, meaning it should be even better in this regard. With the brand's reputation and track record, I wouldn't be surprised if this watch can endure far more than that. This one also features the Illuminator LED backlight system, not present in some of the very cheapest models. This does give pretty good visibility in the dark, though the performance is somewhat limited by the dark display, which we'll discuss in a moment. Something else of note is this backlight system operates slightly differently too. You can either press it once for a two second burst of light or hold it down to keep the orange LED on. And then once you've released it, it just stays on for an extra two seconds. This module as a whole offers typical features such as a stopwatch, countdown timer and alarms. Though the pusher arrangement is slightly different than other Casios I'm familiar with. The light occupies the top right while the adjustment button is recessed into the case at the top left. And as such, this different module and layout have taken actually a tiny bit of getting used to more than I would have thought, but really, they're perfectly fine. Given my limited time with the watch, I can't give an exact figure when it comes to battery life. However, based on my experience with similar previous models, you can expect many, many years of service. Something to note is that this B640 unfortunately only displays the date in American format, even though this watch has been sold in a European market, meaning it could take a bit of getting used to, Unfortunately, I've had a play around with the watch. I don't think there's any way of changing that. As the title suggests, I think even Bruce Wayne would envy the dark colorway. Everything is black from the PVD steel bracelet to the resin case. Even the display is inverted with the text appearing off white against a black backdrop. While it looks cool, I have to admit it's far from the most legible. When shadowed or at a steep angle, the characters are a bit tricky to make out compared to the traditional style displays that I'm used to. This is a little disappointing for me as I thought it looked awesome from the pictures and I didn't really uh, expect this to be an issue whatsoever. As such, unless you love the aesthetic that this display provides, I'd recommend opting for the other version of this watch which features a regular display. That alternative version also costs quite a chunk less at the time of recording this video at least. Despite that, the case is probably the best I felt on these low-end Casios. Its surface is lightly textured, giving more of a matte finish than the likes of the F91. I think this looks slightly better too, and matches surprisingly well with the black bracelet. I was expecting a situation much more like that with the A158, where the finish of the case and bracelet are noticeably different when you look up close. In person with this B640, it blends incredibly well. And to the human eye in normal conditions, uh, you probably wouldn't know that they were two different materials. As with other cheap bracelets, this one isn't great. It's simple folded links, which could be hair pinches if you have a bushy arm. Nevertheless, it's, it's hard to expect much more for the price. At least these are stainless steel and not some much cheaper alloy. So it should have half decent durability. You can also adjust these freely to suit your wrist size. And if you wanted to change the bracelet for an alternative, you can easily remove it via the lugs which feature open shoulders for easy access. If you were looking to chuck something like a fabric strap on this, uh, given the tightness of those lugs, I'd probably recommend going for a two-piece one rather than uh, attempting a NATO or anything like that. Unsurprisingly, the overall comfort is still great. As you can tell, it's fairly small at just 35 millimeters in diameter with a depth of nine and a half millimeters and a lug to lug of just 39. 
if you're familiar with some of the other Casio models, I found this one wears most similarly to something like an A168, rather than the smaller A158 and F91 models. It's a tiny bit chunky, but should wear perfectly fine on small to medium wrists. The lightweight case means this can go somewhat unnoticed on wrist. This will get you through any tasks without really getting in the way. And that's one of the key differences I've found with the cheaper Casios like this compared to those swatches I looked at a couple of weeks back. Both watches are essentially made of the same stuff and physically they're both quite comfortable to wear. However, these Casios are better sized and are designed to be used and abused, not so much as a fashion statement. So when you inevitably scratch the low end materials, it, it doesn't matter so much. If anything, it kind of adds to the character of these. Though it was interesting to hear your thoughts on uh, Swatch in the comments of that video. There's lots of mixed opinions about the brand, which I expected. But something else that's clear to me when you got both of them side by side is that the resin here feels a bit better quality than that in the Swatch, despite retailing for a lower cost. And like the Swatches, you only get a piece of acrylic crystal here. This will offer you some impact resistance, though it will scratch over time. The only other part of this watch that isn't black is the stainless steel rear. This is silver and held in place by four screws, on which you're informed that this watch is made in China. And as a whole, I like the watch. However, I tend to just feel myself picking other Casios over this one. I have this one sitting on the side. I seem to find myself grabbing the A158 more frequently. I like the versatility of the silver watches and they give more of that stylish retro look than this dark one. I'm not sure it's different enough in appearance to the F91W either to justify both having a place in the rotation. It's a good watch, it's just not quite for me as I first thought. They do make a silver version of this which looks a little bit more stylish I'd say so maybe uh, I'll go for that one instead next time. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this blackout Casio in the comment section down below. In the last review video, I covered the Boulder Venture field watches, which are also incredibly practical. Here's where you place them on our wall of watches. Now it's time to vote on this one. Do you think this watch is low quality Chinese garbage? Uncool, cool, or ice cold? Let me know down below and leave your vote in the iCard somewhere above me. If you found this video useful, consider checking out our Patreon. We've got a couple of cool perks over there. See you next time.